Welcome back to Tic-Tac-Toe from Scratch and today we're going to be looking at creating a widget UI so we can have a reset button on it so we can restart our game while we're playing it as well as a winner pop-up message. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a user interface widget blueprint. We're going to call this TTT. All right, and now we want to add a button to this. We're going to call this this could be your little restart button. For a anchor here. And we also want to have some sort of text on top of it, so we can call it restart. Uh, it's important to change the coloring a little with a black border of mine saying. And now that that is created, okay. So while you're on top of the button, so what a dispatcher basically is going to do is whenever this function is called it's gonna delegate an execute node so you can use custom functions or something to call them in your actual game uh, all right now that that is saved and everything we got to go and add it to our level blueprint let's see. this is where we left off last time so I can We're going to create the widget that we just picked, and then we are going to uh, probably should promote this to a variable because I know we will need it later. We're going to call it game. Okay. And now that that is created while our level starts, we got to put it to the viewport. So we can use add to viewport and then we can just connect here. So what this will allow us to do is as soon as our gameplay starts, it will uh, pop up the button somewhere. Yep, that's the restart button. If you hover over it, it turns white because that's how it's set up right now. And if you click it, like it does the little thingy. But right now the button itself does not do anything, so let's go back to it and add the event dispatcher, which we called as restart. 
uh, yeah, bind event to restart dispatcher. So what this is going to allow us to do is, uh, I guess I also might have this here. Right, so what's this gonna allow us to do is every time uh, somebody presses the restart button, it will call the restart dispatcher and this event will be played so we can delegate an execute node to it. So let's do a custom event. Uh, we're gonna name this game restart and then bind it over here. Then, okay, let's test it out if it's working. So let me do a print screen real quick. Print screen. So that is working, but if I click restart, came restart called. Yeah, great, perfect. So in order for us to restart our game of tic-tac-toe, what do we need to do first? Uh, I guess we can get all actors of class and then we should probably just do destroy actor. Yep, so this will remove everything that is already on the board. Uh, we gotta put X, and then I could just duplicate this. This is gonna be a. Oh. Okay, and we also need to restart the entirety of the matrix. That way we are able to play it again, so all these values need to be set again to zero. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So And that's fine. Okay. Uh, just gonna plug all of them in. Okay, I am going to collapse these into two different nodes. And I will also collapse this into a node. Probably should have made this no function. Uh, sorry, it doesn't matter. Okay, so it destroys our actor, it do sets our game values. Uh, and we gotta do middle name. We're gonna set it to whatever the default value is, no winner yet. So. And then I think that should be it. Compile and save. Let's try it out. So I'm able to play the game Winner is X and if I click restart everything is destroyed. And yep, the button works. Great, so in the next video, I'm going to add the winner pop-up. Also, before I stop recording, I should also mention that this is only for tic-tac-toe, but there is another way you can restart level, and that is execute console command. And then you just need to type restart level, and that would actually restart the entirety of the game level. But since this is in our level blueprint, it will also rerun our level blueprint. So 
the game is going to work just fine. The only thing that's going to change is if I do want to have a scoreboard here, for instance, where it says how many number of times a player has tied the game, or how many times X has won, or how many times O has won, that will also restart along with it. That's why I am not using execute console command, but that is something that people can do if they need. Right, right.